Right, so what's going to happen first of all is we're going to play a couple of uh, warm-up games just to get you nice and loose before we go on and do some basketball skills. So the first game we're going to do is you and a partner, you're going to just slowly jog around. Do not go too fast, okay? Don't sprint off or don't you go flying ahead of whoever your partner is. Well, I've got spinal cord injury. I've had it since I was very little. And I am paralysed from about the chest. And I, all the way down, so if you're wondering, I can't feel any part of my legs. Now Callum and I have talked about what he could do instead. So Callum, you know what you're going to do. So if I shout A, what are you going to do? Five armed ones. B, you lot have to lie flat down, get back up as quick as you can, and then continue moving. B for Callum, you're going to do a five seconds on your balance point. That's fine. Line tag Callum. Their job is to stay on the line like a tightrope walker. They're not allowed off the line. Your job is to stay half and half. You have to be right on top of that line. You can't deviate off them, so you're going to have to pay attention. As a head teacher in school, I would expect that all teachers treat all children the same, that we don't look on it as treating children differently. We look on that we're providing a PE lesson, that we're providing opportunities, and then we just try and adapt that to meet the needs of the children who are there. To make sure that Callum was included, we obviously modify the equipment in some cases where we've got the large ball which just makes it easier for him to get a handle on. Uh, we sometimes um, adapt rules and, and boundaries in areas. They all know exactly where it is, he can't get too crowded, he likes the fact that he's got a bit of space to turn and move. The warm-up games, he's just so fantastic at adapting whatever the kids are doing. He can say, I've got one that I can do instead. And it's just making sure there's a dialogue with him and that he's really clear on what he's doing and also that I'm really clear on what he's comfortable doing. I found at first when I knew I was getting calm, I was very nervous. I'd never had to do this before and I didn't know where to go for help. But the, uh, to make the lessons inclusive, I found that the best resource were the people around me, the people that Callum worked with, his family. There's so many agencies out there that have come in and worked with me and given me ideas. It's important that I support staff by looking at their individual skill base, looking at their abilities and what needs they have. And then it's a case of looking at the children they're working with and then tailoring the support that I can give in order that for them to meet the needs of these children. So it may be that I will ask the teachers to go and work with another colleague who has a specific um, skill base. It might be that I need to look beyond our school. So within Fife we do have a good base of people who can provide training and provide support for teachers. And then what I do is facilitate that. So I would in enable the teacher to go out of school, take part in training, take part in furthering their own development. My advice would be just not to be scared. I know at the, at the beginning of a year when you're looking at the plans and you see what you have to do, it might seem a bit daunting and how am I going to include, but the best thing to do is just get out and give it a go. To use the resources around you, there's so many websites and material that you can kind of use and, and kind of pick from. Also, just keep everything open, communicate lots with the person, the main person. Callum and I talk about most PE lessons before we go and so that we know what we're doing. But just go for it, get out there and give it a go. On you go. On a Tuesday, Thursday and sometimes Sunday, I do this, so training, wheelchair racing. And on Wednesdays, I do basketball. So that is just with my classmates and sometimes do that. I and it's really fun. I started getting properly involved when I got my racing chair and that was back in the autumn of 2012 and yes, yeah, since then I've loved sport and I've always been eager to do my best. The main challenges I think we face is as a family is just trying to manage it all, man juggle the, the different activities. Callum does swimming and weights and track racing twice a week and other children do other activities. So it's about sort of making sure that he's not doing too much. His focus is track racing so we try and provide him with different opportunities to, um, to help with that. But it's also as well, he wants to go to clubs that his friends go to. So it's how we include him in clubs that, and, and help those clubs include him, I think is a challenge. Disability Sport Fife and Scottish Disability Sport have been a huge influence in Callum's life. We were lucky enough to meet 
them uh, when he was about five and he could go along to their sports camps and he could try out sports. We've got coaches there that we can get mine of information and it you know, just helps him progress and get where he wants to go. Well, my greatest achievement would be London Mini Marathon I did in April and I um, completed that in the time of 24 minutes, 14 and came six. So I'm very proud of that and I'm wanting to go further and eventually be a Paralympic champion. Yes!